Hello everyone, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In this short video, I show you how to embroider a nose and mouth for my little pug or any other animal using black EK or light worsted weight yarn and a yarn needle. Honestly, the reason for this video is because I forgot to insert the um, clip for embroidering the nose into my little pug amigurumi tutorial and I just edit it as a separate video now but I figured it may be useful for um, any any animal you you like to crochet if you don't want to use embroidery floss and the sewing needle to embroider so usually I use embroidery floss and then in this case, I use a pointy um, sewing needle with a large eye to embroider. And that gives you more control over where the stitches go because with the sharp pointy end, you can stitch through, in, um, through the fibers rather than stitching through in between the crocheted stitches. But um, for my little pug, I just went for the quicker version of using yarn and a yarn needle and I just go through in between the stitches as you will see in the following video in the following clip and yeah that's just a nice method if you don't want to make so much um, fuss with the embroidery if embroidery is not really your thing or if it's a really simple embroidery um like it was in this case so i hope you find it helpful let me know in the comments if you have any questions first embroider the nose and mouth and then you make a few stitches to make the face more squishy and wrinkly so I'll use, actually I'll use black yarn and kind of change my mind. I put out some embroidery floss first, but I think black yarn is sufficient for this project. If you want to do this super neat and precise, then you can use black embroidery floss and uh, um, actually a sewing needle that has a large enough eye to fit the embroidery floss and with this you can be really precise that's how I usually do my embroidery but for this project I tried it um, with black yarn and a yarn needle and it actually worked so I'll just do it this way again so I just start with the nose uh, as centered as possible between round one and two just stitch through there and then we just want to make a little triangle shape or actually quite big triangle shape so we just pick the three stitches that are most yeah most centered I think these three are better than this one here so let's just see how it goes <laughs> So I'll just make a few stitches through there. One more just to make it a bit bolder. Then I go through the stitch next to it. Usually with, with embroidery, it's recommended that you don't go through in between the stitches. But with this one, I'm just doing it <laughs> because I'm using black yarn. It will, it, it fills out the stitches enough so that it doesn't move around and it's, it's, it's doing what I want. So it's fine. <laughs> so I did, I made two stitches in each of the, those three 
stitch is now here there's still a gap so I'll add one more there Okay, then I'll just make a little stitch so I'll just go through the same spot again and now I make a small stitch downward through the center of the magic ring Okay, now that's where you get more precise results with a sewing needle if you stitch through the fibers instead of through the stitches. But I'm good with that. So now I just make a little upside down V shape here. Maybe starting here, let's see how that looks. So one stitch on that side. And then one stitch on the other side, stitching through the middle of the magic ring again. And that's it. So that's the mouth and nose embroidered. So now I'll just cut that off. And again, we can secure the yarn ends with a double knot. And then we can just hide everything inside the head or, or cut the yarn ends short. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments. Do you usually use yarn to make your embroideries for your amigurumi or do you prefer embroidery floss? And are you using a yarn needle or a sewing needle? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.